Hey guys, it's Jennifer and I have a new mascara to review for you guys. This is the e.l.f. Big Mood. So let's jump right into it. Okay, so how I do my mascara videos, I'll put it on, I'll show you the application, what it looks like. Then we will wear it for a day and I'll come back and show you what it looks like at the end of the day and show you my, or share, share with you my thoughts on this one. Um, so Elf did send me this free for review. Um, and here is the brush. It looks um, a little bit like the Bite and the uh, Too Faced um, Better Than Sex Mascara. So the brush is very similar. So I'm going to go ahead. I will zoom you in so you can see me putting it on my eyeball. Hopefully you guys can see that. It is first thing in the morning. I am not quite there yet. So I've got a lot happening. What is that? A little speckle of... Oh, it's just a little speckle of powder on my brow. I was like, ugh. That's what happens when you zoom in. You find all the things. Okay, so as you'll notice... Um, it is definitely not a clumpy formula. This brush brushes real solidly throughout. Um, but as you will also notice, it's hard to get the product on the lash. You really, really have to go in and coat it. I'm trying to make sure I stay in frame. Okay, so there's one coat. I'm going to go back in, dip again. I uh, have to go ahead and be honest and tell you that I was excited to get this mascara out of the way because I have been testing it for the last month um, and we've had some ups and downs. Okay. All right, so there is a first coat on that side. So now I'm going to go back in and do the right one again. My lashes are just so short and stubby and just some mascaras can grab them and pull and then some you really, really, really have to work the product in. But at this point, I mean, I'm, I'm caking it, so I'm going to move on. You'll probably already be able to tell some of my thoughts. All right. I'm going to do a quick brush on the lower lashes here. All right, so that is the application. So you can hopefully see, um, look off the camera a bit. So hopefully you can see uh, what we got, what we're working with here. So there you go. Going to zoom out. All right, guys, so I'm going to wear this and I will be back this afternoon, evening, and we will talk about this mascara. Hey guys, so it's the end of the work day. Looking pretty rough. Um, but let me zoom in and show you, ooh, not that close. Let me show you the mascara. So as you can see, it really hasn't budged and it's been a full day. Um, I do see a little bit of transfer right here um, and a little bit here. It's very hot and humid right now, so there is a little bit of transfer, but it's nothing compared to others that I've seen. And just quite honestly, um, as you can see, there's they look exactly the same. Not dramatic, not huge. Um, but ugh, my eye looks so tired on this side because I have not been getting a lot of sleep this week. But anyway, um, so yeah, there we go. So let me zoom out and let's talk. All right. So let me go ahead and share my thoughts with you on this mascara. So pros and cons, it is very, very, very separating. Okay. So pros and cons. So this mascara is really, really good at separating the lashes. It really does pull everything through nicely. Um, it is just not a dramatic lash. This is actually something that I've been used for. I've been using layering for the last little bit of the month just because I have to because I'm just not getting um, a dramatic lash out of it. So it is definitely not my holy grail, but I'm going to be honest with you, it's not a bad mascara 
for a very affordable mascara. If you want to layer, I'm looking for a one and done, but if you don't mind layering, it's really nice as a first coat because it does separate the lashes so well. So it kind of works in a way a bit more like a primer than a full-on mascara. So that's the experience that I've had with it. Um, it's really great for the lower lashes as well. This is just not, this is just not my HG. It's not my dramatic lash that I'm looking for, my one and done but it is nice for layering and quite honestly, um, you can't beat the price really. So something to consider if you're thinking about checking this one out. Um, I didn't notice any transferring. I didn't notice any, um, any, you know, easy transferring to the bottom lash, like some of the mascaras that I've used. So that was really good. So it really is, um, it is a nice mascara. It's just not dramatic enough for me. It is very subtle. Um, but I do like how it combs through the lashes. All in all, um, I, I do think it's worth checking out if you want a cheap mascara that you can sit around, especially like I say, use for la uh, la layering. Oh my goodness. Or even if you just want to use it on the lower lash line, it's, you know, totally affordable and it could be used for that purpose. But for me, it just isn't doing everything that I need my mascara to do. So that's it. All right, guys. So that's it for me. I hope everybody's doing great and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Mm -hmm.